Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. In the last episode we killed the boss troll and got the Gaia sword and used it to, to open the volcano and made our way to the hardest dungeon in the game, which I believe is called the Necrogon Tunnel, maybe? I could be wrong. Let us check that with the location spell. Necrogon's Cave. Now we go this way. Ooh, statues. Yes, despite this being my least favorite area in the hardest dungeon of the game, I'm in a good mood because one of my favorite items is in this cave. And we're going to get it today! If I can find it. I hope I can find it. This place is a giant maze. Ah, is this it? Yes, it is! The Thunder Sword! I love this weapon so much. And it is the hero's best weapon. So we're putting that on her ASAP. The Thunder Sword. Thunder. Ah, I'm happy, viewers. I am very happy. Now then, there's another item in here, if I'm not mistaken. The blade armor, which is hard to find enough as it is. Even with all the monsters! Now, the Thunder Sword can, does a thing in battle as well as the Bolt Step. And I shall show you. It casts a uh, boom as a spell as a spell in battle when used. And now we shall find the Blade Armor, which I have no idea where it is. I really should have looked at a map at this place. Actually, let's use Ray's ability real quick. For Thief Nose. Two chests. Alright. Secondly, we shall use Tiptoe. Now, this greatly reduces the encounter rate. I think it even lowers it to zero. At least it does in the Game Boy version. And in this chest, we have the Blade Armor. Let's see if it's better than the Terra Armor. Yes, it is! Well, let's see. Who can use the Terra Armor? No one. Let's see who can use the Blade Armor. No one else. So, we'll give the Blade Armor to Alina. And moving on! Now, this place is very hard, viewers. I would have no, uh... I would give no fault if you, uh... Did the same trick as I did by sneaking around. Okay, let's... Re put tiptoe back on. Trust me, Varus, this will make this play ah, very short. New enemies, lion heads. I forget what they do, but they're very annoying. Oh yeah, the uh, Thunder Sword is a very cool animation in battle. It's cooler in the Game Boy Color version where it's a unique attack. But anyway, let's just use fast forward. Go up these stairs. And I think I'm not sure if we're heading the right way anymore, viewers. I am just so lost. Yeah, that's what I don't like about this place. It's huge. But luckily with tiptoe, it makes it so much easier. In theory. Jewel bags. When you kill these things, they drop a lot of money. Usually. I think it's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. They're like the reverse of a metal slime. Which is good. Oh boy. Alright, time to sneak around again. Oh my god. Why can't I push the right buttons, viewers? Why? Tiptoe. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. New uh, no, not new enemies, but who cares? They're gonna be quickly killed. Yay, they're dead. Alright. Uh. I think we made a wrong turn. Somewhere. Alright, I gotta find the right way, viewers. See, if I didn't have a thief and tiptoe, I'd be so annoyed right now, <laughs> if I'm being honest. 
Eh, who cares? We'll leave it in. Oh, gotta heal. Yay, Ray gained another level. Oh my god. No idea where that song came from, viewers. No idea. Nope. Alright, we're done. Moving on! Let's see. Is it this way? Oh no, it doesn't loop, but does it? Oh my god. Spell. Doop -doop. Okay, that part loops around on itself, I think. Marauders, they can attack twice and use spells like skeletons. Except they're stronger. Right, let's see, let's try doing this again. There we go. Yeah, that place just loops around on itself. Alright, viewers, I'm gonna be right back. I need to find a map. Alright, I'm back. I found what I'm. God damn it! I'm leaving this thing because I just cut it. Alright, I found out where we're supposed to go. Oh, E kill. That does what I think it does. I'll have to check in battle. Alina's not gonna use her spells casting any other way. Alright, hollow ghosts. I think these are the things that can call, kill cast defeat on you. I have no idea. I've lost track after so many battles of saying that they do. Ah yes. B kill. It doubles your attack power. It's really awesome. It helps when you have two people now. I think only a sage can learn. Oh god, that was good. Good that he didn't die. Alright, then we're doing good so far. Oh, Trump came to So my plans for the next episode, between the two episodes, this one and the next one. Oh my god. Oh, Marauders can uh, paralyze your whole group if you're unlucky. So I'm actually going to save state now because I've gotten pretty far. So after this episode, I am going to actually make Trent a cleric, level him up to 20, and make him back into a fighter to prepare for the next uh, boss battle that's coming up. And a very annoying one, by the way, viewers. Very annoying. All right. Fall down here. Go up these stairs. Go around this way. Don't fall down the hole again. Go up these stairs, and here we are in the next area. It's, it's very tricky, viewers. They don't, you're not really expected to fall down a hole right there. Oh my god, stop blowing on me! Alright. Can you go up this way? No. Oh my god, next one I'm coming out. Yay, level 19. Oh my gosh, I went the wrong way. Wait, do, do, do I still have tiptoe on? No, I didn't. Okay. That would explode. Oh my god. I hate these enemies. Alright. Uh. Here we are. Let me go down here. Tiptoe again. Coral Lord, they can cast Bounce on themselves, which is like the Reflect spell from dry, uh, from Final Fantasy, except it only affects the caster, so, so they can't cast on anyone else, which is good. We're almost done, viewers. But you see, there's this pit here. I'll give you a hint, viewers, it's not a pit. It's actually... Well, actually, let me heal up first. It's 
actually... Actually... A secret passage! Little trick they have there, isn't it? And here's the stairs out! And we're out! The hardest dungeon has been cheesed with the tiptoe ability! And we have this little shrine here. Now, viewers, I recommend that you do two things here before talking to the guy. One, peep nose. Two, seek out and check these spots. Here we have a Pudge Easy ticket. Here we have a mini metal. And, uh, and here we have another Pudge Easy ticket. But our whole reason for coming here and doing, oh my God, stop pushing the wrong button. Whole reason for coming here and doing that, those awful, awful dungeons is this guy. I am amazed that you've made it this far. Allow me to give you this silver orb as a reward. The silver orb! The hardest orb to get in my opinion. I skipped through his test text for a reason, years. Anyway, we're gonna quickly return to Eden Bear before I end up this episode. Uh I really should be using the sword as an item in this sort of situation. Alright. I'll make a quick pit stop before I close out the game. This episode, I mean. Short episode, because I just wanted to do that one dungeon, because it, it can take a lot on one psyche if you don't do it correctly. Oh my god! What, what, what the hell, man? Okay, I think you're supposed to talk to both of them to get it progressed or something. Wow, that was really annoying. I, I actually never knew that. If that was an emulator glitch, I would've been so pissed. I'd have to stop this LP. It would really suck. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, because I screwed up there. It's not continuing. Yeah, this is, this is gonna take forever, viewers. All right. Okay, in the next episode, I'm going to cry myself to sleep, because that didn't work. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go get the second to last orb that we have to get before getting the yellow one, because we can't get the yellow one yet because of that mess up. Ugh. All right, this is Parnash signing off. See you later, guys.